pneumococcal polysaccharide vaccine euro the latest version is known as pneumovax 23 a euro is the first pneumococcal vaccine the first vaccine derived from a capsular polysaccharide and an important landmark in medical history the polysaccharide antigens were used to induce type specific antibodies that enhanced opsonization phagocytosis and killing of streptococcus pneumoniae bacteria by phagocytic immune cells the pneumococcal polysaccharide vaccine is widely used in high-risk adults. As a result, there have been important reductions in the incidence, morbidity, and mortality from invasive pneumococcal disease. First used in 1945, the tetravalent vaccine was not widely distributed, since its deployment coincided with the discovery of penicillin. In the 1970s, Robert Austrian championed the manufacture and distribution of a 14-valent PPSV. This evolved in 1983 to a 23-valent formulation. A significant breakthrough affecting the burden of pneumococcal disease was the licensing of a protein conjugate heptavalent vaccine beginning in February 2000. Medical uses In the United States, PPSV is recommended for adults 65 years of age or older, Adults with serious long-term health problems, smokers, children older than two years with serious long-term health problems, giving the protection of five years or more. The World Health Organization recommendations are similar. The WHO does not recommend use of PPV in routine childhood immunization programs. Pneumococcal vaccine is beneficial to control exacerbations of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and asthma. In March 2011, the Joint Committee on Vaccination and Immunization of the United Kingdom advised to stop using PPSV, for those aged 65 years and older. However, as of 2013, the Green Book, which is the United Kingdom's official government recommendations on immunizations, still carried the recommendation to give PPSV to those aged 65 and over. PPSV should be offered to those in clinical risk groups. PPSV is important for those with HIV AIDS. In Canadian HIV patients, the vaccine has been reported to decrease the incidence of invasive pneumococcal disease from 768-100,000 person years to 244-100,000 patient years. Current WHO guidelines recommend immunization with PPV23 for HIV patients in clinical stage 1 while the CDC recommends immunization in those with a CD4 cell count greater than 200 slash I1 quarter L. Adverse events, approximately half of people who receive PPSV experience pain and soreness at the vaccination site. Fewer than 1% develop a fever and or muscle aches. Vaccination schedule, equals adults and children over 2 years of age equals, the 23-valent vaccine is effective against 23 different pneumococcal capsular types and so covers 90% of the types found in pneumococcal bacteremia. Equals young children equals, children under the age of 2 years fail to mount an adequate response to the 23-valent adult vaccine, and instead a 13-valent pneumococcal conjugated vaccine must be used. Prevna 13 is a new vaccine which has replaced Prevna 7 adding six new serotypes to the vaccine. While this covers only 13 strains out of more than 90 strains, these 13 strains caused 80% to 90% of cases of severe pneumococcal disease in the U.S. before introduction of the vaccine, and it is considered to be nearly 100% effective against these strains. Special Risk Group Children at special risk require additional protection using the 13-valent conjugated vaccine with the then more extensive 23-valent vaccine given after the second year of life. See also, Streptococcus pneumoniae au, pneumonia, conjugate vaccine. References Further reading, Mabberly S., Holden J., Tatham D.P., Andrews R.M. Vaccines for Preventing Pneumococcal Infection in Adults. Cochrane Database SysRev1, CD00042 DOI. 10.1002-14651858 CD00042-2 Pub 3. PMID 23440780. External links, Pneumococcal Vaccines World Health Organization, Pneumovax 23 Information Merck, Pneumovax Package Insert Merck.
Paths Vaccine Resource Library Pneumococcus Resources, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. CH16, Pneumococcal Disease. In Atkinson W., Wolf S., Hambusky J. Epidemiology and Prevention of Vaccine Preventable Diseases. Washington, D.C., Public Health Foundation Pages 233 Euro 248